face. Step up. Hey, how are you? Nice to see you. Step up. Step up. Mayor, come on over. <laughs> I don't know if I'm holding too close to the side. <laughs> yeah. Huzzah! Good morning! <laughs> where's, where's, where's the guy on the horse? Uh, he's, he's coming. Guy on the horse? He's, yeah? He's stuck in traffic. He's, cu he's stuck in traffic. <laughs> too bad we don't have a governor to deal with that. <laughs> <laughs> Things are a little easier in the 18th century. <laughs> Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Are you all assembled? Excellent. This is great. You look great. Thank you. Doesn't everybody look great? Henry looks awesome, and yeah. everybody looks yeah, great. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Excellent. Hey, what do you make of the state house? Looks great. Yes, it does. And the, and the banner? Appreciate it. It's great. Well, good morning. Keep them in your knees. Uh, That's good advice. Yeah. <laughs> we'll give Paul Revere on, on his way. It's great. Okay, great, great, great. Are we not starting until we have over here? I think that's right. We're waiting. We're waiting. Okay, great. Why don't you Why don't you present yourselves? Who do we have here? Bill Clemens. From Danvers Alarmless Company. Jeff Swartz, Danvers Alarmless Company. Tom Coots, Danvers Alarmless Company. Daniel Cripps, Danvers Alarmless Company. Henry Murkowski, Danvers Alarmless Captain. Captain Murkowski, Danvers Alarmless Company. Kathy Cripps, Danvers. National Lancers of Boston. Thank you. Fantastic. Oh. Okay, good. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Don't come guests and fellow citizens of Massachusetts. On behalf of the sons and daughters of liberty, we extend a warm and hearty welcome to this grand assembly, where we shall announce the campaign commemorating the 250th anniversary of our fair country's independence.
with great pleasure that we present our first speaker of the day, Governor Maura Healy. <laughs> Huzzah! All right. Thank you. Thank you to Paul Revere for another timely message um, warning us uh, and also for your work in laying the cornerstone, cornerstone of this great building. Folks know that, right? This gentleman, Paul Revere and Sam Adams, once upon a time a governor in addition to a great brewer, laid the cornerstone of this great building. So we, uh, we thank you for, for making the ride here today. We also thank our Freedom Trail players. Thank you so much. Our Danvers Militia, the Middlesex Fife and Drum, and the Lancers out there for bringing our history to life. And we want to welcome everyone this morning to what is the birthplace of America. Woo! Massachusetts, where the revolution began and where the revolution continues. First in freedom, first in education, first in healthcare, first in innovation. We celebrate that history, we honor that history, and every day we're also making history making history as we launch Massachusetts 250. Woo! Just as we led America's revolution, this state, Massachusetts, will lead this country in celebrating our great nation. We'll do that over the next two years by lifting up and promoting the revolutionary greatness in every community of our state. I want to recognize some of the leaders who've come from across Massachusetts to mark this occasion. We are joined today by Mayor Michelle Wu, who is leading our great capital city with a revolutionary spirit. Members of our legislature, including Rep. Alice Peisch, Rep. Frank Moran, Senator Lovely, Rep. Jones, uh, we have Rep. Consalvo, Rep. Garcia, Rep. Howard, Rep. Kushmarek, Rep. Owens, Rep. Vieira, Rep. McGregor, Rep. Cataldo, Rep. Day, Rep. Machino, Rep. Haggerty, Rep. Kane, Representative Arena DeRosa, Senator Friedman, uh, Representative Chicolo. We also have Governor's Council Marilyn Devaney with us and Auditor Diana DeZoglio. So thank you to our friends in the legislature for all that you do. And all that you do for your constituents and districts all across this great, great commonwealth. And we're going to be partying and celebrating all of those districts this year, aren't we? Yes, we are. We're going to have that. Um, we also want to thank in particular the co-chairs of the 250th American, Revolutionary, American Revolution Anniversary Committee, Representative Minnie Dom. Who's coming from the West this morning, and Senator Paul Mark. Also from the 413. Also from the 413. Um, legislators and local leaders who joined us today from all across Massachusetts, we're so excited about this. From the Berkshires, Springfield, Western Massachusetts, Worcester and Central Massachusetts, the North Shore, the South Shore, all of Greater Boston. Cape Cod, the islands, and southeastern Massachusetts. We have leaders in business, in tourism, in culture and hospitality, leaders in education and youth programs, students and teachers. We also have Massachusetts veterans and service members who continue our tradition of military leadership. Innovators who are leading revolutions today from robotics to clean energy to medical discovery and so much more. Leaders in our administration, including Secretary of Economic Development, Yvonne Howe, our Executive Director of the Massachusetts Office of Travel and Tourism, Kate Fox, our Undersecretary in Economic Development, Sarah Stanton, and of course, uh, our great Lieutenant Governor, Kim Driscoll. So look, Massachusetts 250, this is going to be an ongoing celebration of who we are, of where we've been, and what is to come. 
We're going to leverage this moment to draw in visitors from all around, not just the state, the country, but literally the world, who are going to come here to Massachusetts to see and to celebrate where it all began. Companies, nonprofits, groups, individuals, cities and towns in every corner of the state. And the more people who get involved, the bigger the boost it will be for our state. So I encourage everybody to get fired up, to get engaged, and to get involved. We have a lot to be proud of here in Massachusetts. We're home to America's first public school, first public library, first public park, right here in the Boston Common. Today, we are voted number one for education, for innovation, for health care. We're voted number one as the best place to have a baby, to live if you're a woman, to raise a family. And we are consistently ranked number one for innovation. In the entire country, Spot, the robotic dog from Boston Dynamics, is here to prove it. Thank you, Spot, for being with us this morning. Take a bow. See, Massachusetts, we're a state that led in the past and now invents in the future. The state that cures diseases, develops vaccines, and heals the world. We're leading the clean energy revolution to grow great jobs and heal our planet. And we're standing up for and protecting the very rights, liberties, and freedoms that folks came together 250 years ago to fight for and establish right here in Massachusetts. That's what we celebrate. And Mass 250 is about telling the story of that celebration. And it's a great celebration. It's also important as we move through this year and the following year that we tell that story with all the voices that should be represented in community. Our indigenous communities who continue to ground us in respect for the lands and the waters and for their stewardship over centuries. They preceded us here and we honor our indigenous people. We, we honor our black community. Right behind you all is the monument to the 54 Regiment. You know that uh, that was an important muster and, and, and march made uh, during the Civil War. 161 years ago, the then governor ordered the militia to march to join and end the war to end slavery. And we will be celebrating our rich black community throughout the next two years. The Latino and Asian community who enrich our culture in every way possible Happy Hispanic Heritage Month, by the way. We've led the revolution to make America an inclusive and just democracy. Massachusetts 250, we're going to build on that. And we'll start our next chapter from a place of pride that draws on the strength of our people. Just like 1775, 1776, we're in a pivotal moment for this nation. And getting engaged means fortifying our commitment to democracy and to freedom. Today is National Voter Registration Day. So let's spread the word and encourage everyone to get out, get registered, and participate in our great democracy. Today, as we begin the celebrations, and we also share news about how we're growing this campaign statewide, um, I want to invite up somebody very special to me and very special to all of us, She's been an incredible, incredible teammate, and I want to welcome uh, the Honorable Kim Driscoll. Thanks, Governor. Thank you, Governor. How about a huzzah on three? One, two, three, huzzah! Wow. <laughs> it is great to be with all of you as we officially launch celebrations of Massachusetts 250. We've got a taste of the fun. And at the 250th anniversary of the Boston Tea Party, which took place just last December, at that point, we kicked off America 250, true to character with an act of defiance and teamwork. Many of us were there celebrating the reenactment of the Boston Tea Party as we came together with leaders from across this country to recognize the official kickoff of America 250. I mean, how many states can say they invented American democracy, marriage equality, 
and basketball. Yeah. Hats off to Springfield. <laughs> We know that every city and town in Massachusetts has its own revolutionary history, its own local legends and firsts and cultural traditions. We're gonna make sure everyone can be promoted, every small business can benefit, and every Main Street can feel the love as we tell these authentic stories. The goal of Massachusetts 250 is, as the governor said, to help all of our communities tell their stories. So it's my honor on behalf of the Healy Driscoll administration and the Massachusetts Office of Travel and Tourism to announce that we are supporting 37 projects statewide. This is just the first round through the Massachusetts 250 grant program. These are projects that highlight the themes of revolution and independence and celebrate significant historical firsts in Massachusetts, using creative approaches to showcase our state's rich 250-year history. They cover the length and breadth of Massachusetts from Pittsfield to Fall River, and Newburyport to Nantucket. They include new exhibits, trails, websites, videos, productions, events, and more. People are all in helping us make sure we tell our stories. They lift up the places, people, movement, ideas, and innovations that have made Massachusetts a beacon for America and the world these 250 years and beyond. Think about it. We have the same streets where Paul Revere traveled, where inventions were made, where our history comes to life. You can come to Massachusetts and visit that. Thank you to all of the grantees who are here for your proposals and for your partnership. We can't wait to see what you bring to life. We know we're gonna have another round of funding to support so many others who also wanna to contribute to our celebration in 2026. And as the governor said, we want everybody to be a part of this opportunity as we move forward. So to learn more, we wanna encourage everyone to get involved. Visit the webpage at Massachusetts250.org. Everyone should start planning some type of event. We want to see you all around the state and celebrate our history together as a state. The history we made, the history we're going to make as we continue with our innovation spirit. We know we'll have a lot of visitors here. Let's make sure they leave better informed than when they got here and understand our first 250 was amazing. Our next 250 is a lot yet left to do and we're working hard on it. And now it's my honor to introduce the leader of America's revolutionary state capital, our great mayor, Michelle Wu. Good morning, everyone, and thank you so much to all of our leaders statewide, especially Governor Healy, Lieutenant Governor Driscoll, for their daily work to make sure that Massachusetts and Boston and all of our communities continue to carry forward the legacy that we're celebrating and kicking off today. Um, thank you to all of the committee chairs, cabinet secretaries, legislators, state leaders, and community leaders who have been working hard for a very long time to prepare us for this moment. What makes Boston and Massachusetts so special is that we have always been the place where people come with big ideas that change the world. And whenever we look back at our history, when we mark the memorials and monuments and moments that have shaped that history, it's not only with the lens of remembering what is in the past, but preparing us and committing us to keep fighting for our future. And so in continuing this 250-year-old uh, tradition of uh, sending Bostonians to Philadelphia to show them how it's done, I want to also shout out some members of my team, our Chief of Economic Opportunity and Inclusion, Shigun Iduwu, will be representing Boston this weekend at a national convening of cities commemorating the 250th uh, over there. I want to thank you, Chief Iruwu. I want to acknowledge our city's head of tourism, sports, and entertainment, John Borders of Fourth, and Deputy Director Amy Yandel for all the work they're doing behind the scenes to make Boston the best place to celebrate our nation's rich history. And of course, a celebration like this takes a village. And so a special thank you also to the Massachusetts 250th Commission and Boston's own Commemoration Commission for all the work that's already been happening behind the scenes to make it a success. Woo! Together, we are honoring our revolutionaries and our residents, including the people whose stories were never told and now will be front and center. A celebration like this doesn't just reflect who we were, it's a statement about who we are today and where we're going. This is a city and a commonwealth that have always been at the forefront. 
We've never been content to just read along as the next chapter in, American, in the American story unfolds. We have always insisted on writing it ourselves. We're proud of this revolutionary spirit, Crispus Attucks, Abigail John and Samuel Adams, Paul Revere, the Old North Church in the North End, Charlestown soldiers at the Battle of Bunker Hill, Henry Knox and the Continental Army at Dorchester Heights in South Boston, and I'm not even mentioning Lexington Concord and the many, many other communities outside this city. Collectively, we have carried that spirit forward for 250 years. We are the birthplace of public education, the heart of abolitionist thought and action, the city where Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. led a 20,000 person freedom march in 1965 that has finally been commemorated just across the common at the embrace. And Boston and Massachusetts, are still the places where you can make the future happen today. Our labs and hospitals invented COVID vaccines. They're hard at work on the next big advances in human health and longevity. We're attracting employers and talent with a culture that welcomes all families and defends our core freedoms. Our innovators are on the leading edge of cancer research, breakthroughs in AI, and the fight to protect our planet and deliver a clean energy revolution. So from the shot heard around the world, to the Boston Marathon starting gun, to corner threes from our NBA champions, the Boston Celtics, our city is still the center of the action where making history is a matter of course. So with millions of eyes on us, as we host these celebrations and welcome the tall ships and the World Cup back to Boston, we have an opportunity to share our full story with the world. And starting now, I want all our residents and the entire Commonwealth to know that the city of Boston, we are all in to support all these efforts and work with every single member of the state and all of the community members to make the most of this moment together. So thank you for everything that's going into this. And now I'd like to hand it off to State Senator Paul Mark. Woo! Who's actually here? Thank you, thank you very much. Uh, thank you so much, Mayor. I, I, uh, I don't know if Paul Revere faced traffic like I just did coming by 495, but uh, I imagine he also had his struggles. So it's a great honor to be here. I'm Paul Mark, State Senator for the Berkshire, Hamden, Franklin, Hampshire District, and one of the co-chairs of the Revolution 250th Commission. And what a great day to have this kickoff. Because today, well, yeah, because it's beautiful, but also because today is September 17th, which is Constitution Day. So the Constitution, and I happen to teach a class on civil liberties, the Constitution, the Declaration of Independence, and then the Bill of Rights, if you read these documents, they are all directly answers to what was happening here in Massachusetts. The Declaration of Independence, the part that is the grievances to King George III, that is a list of our grievances, of our ancestors' grievances, of the grievances of Massachusetts and Boston. And that document became the seeds for this new country. So this country was conceived here in Massachusetts. And what a great opportunity on the 250th anniversary coming up of that conception that we're going to showcase and spotlight what makes Massachusetts still great, what makes Massachusetts still a leader, and what makes the entire state, because I represent the Berkshires, what makes this celebration a celebration that's going to take place all over this state, from the Knox Trail to the Battle of Bunker Hill to Patriots Day, all the way through the 4th of July in 2026. So... I'm so thankful to Governor Healy, Lieutenant Governor Driscoll, Secretary Howe, the mayor, and all of my counterparts that are here today for making this our chance to be in the spotlight, a moment that we're going to take advantage of, a moment of we're going to showcase what Massachusetts is and has to offer, and a moment where we continue to show that Massachusetts rules. <laughs> so huzzah, hear ye, hear ye. Thank you for having me here, and it's my great opportunity now to introduce my co-chair of the American Revolution 250th Commission, who gave me her hat last minute, Representative Mindy Dom of Amherst. Thought I got rid of that hat, but no, no luck. Once you wear it, you can't take it off. I guess forever. not. Thank you, Governor, Lieutenant Governor. Thank you, Kate Fox, and thank you, Secretary Howe. And thank you to all my colleagues back here from the House of Representatives. I'm Mindy Dom, and I'm the state rep from the 3rd Hampshire District, which is located in the 413 as well. I represent Amherst and half of the town of Granby. 
I'm the co-chair and have the honor of being the co-chair of the Joint Committee on Tourism, Arts, and Cultural Development, and also the co-chair of the 250 Commission. And I'm so glad to be here today with all of you. Learning history from Senator Mark is always a pleasure, and seeing the administration in full huzzah regalia is an honor and great fun. Like you, I am excited by the spotlight on our Commonwealth that we'll enjoy with this 250th anniversary and the opportunity to share our legacy of courage, independence, and leadership while highlighting how Massachusetts continues to embrace revolution, change, and our commitment to create a more equitable and just Commonwealth and country. I'm looking forward to experiencing how our cities and towns share their histories with each other and with visitors. And I am eager to experience the cross Commonwealth celebration of this anniversary, not just because I'm from Western Massachusetts, to learn and celebrate those stories that are untold, indigenous peoples, communities of color, women, LGBTQ, workers, all the stories that are Massachusetts, the stories of those whose struggles and resilience continue to shape and strengthen our Commonwealth and our nation. The anniversary offers so many points of reflection and pride for Massachusetts. I personally like the chocolate chip cookie invention, but that's just me. <laughs> Communities across the Commonwealth are already busy meeting, organizing, and developing their plans to celebrate, to engage their residents, their cultural institutions, and their businesses. The roster of events across the Commonwealth is likely to be nothing short of spectacular as we honor and acknowledge our place in history and in our country's future. And Senator Mark, Secretary Howe, Governor Hurley, Lieutenant Governor Driscoll, and myself can vouch you can make the trip across Massachusetts in a day. <laughs> the House of Representatives <clears throat> has also demonstrated its commitment to be an active partner, supporting our communities in their efforts to celebrate safely, to participate in the anniversary's festivities, and to maximize the benefits of this historic milestone for the Commonwealth. We are eager to begin this collective work. Thank you so much to the Governor, Lieutenant Governor, Secretary Howe, Director Fox, my colleagues in the legislature, and all of you, and all of Massachusetts. I now have the distinct honor of introducing a champion for tourism sector, Secretary of the Executive Office of Economic Development, Yvonne Howe, and I am all thankful for her partnership and enthusiastic leadership, and it's wonderful to call her a neighbor from the 413. Yeah. Secretary. Yeah. Okay, well, I'm here to close it out. Um, I'm Yvonne Howe, our Secretary of Economic Development, and anyone who knows me knows I talk endlessly about Team Massachusetts, and some of you may even be wearing your bracelets, Beth Boland, I'm talking about you. Uh, but we have the best team. We have our incredible captains, the governor and lieutenant governor. We have our incredible legislators led by Chair Mark and Chair and, and uh, Chair Dom, all of the legislators here. And then we have all of you, all everybody here in our state. We have the best team here in Massachusetts. And this is a really important moment to pause and to reflect and to celebrate this 250 years. So I was just thinking about this event, and I was remembering in my year and a half in this job, one of the most special things I've done was I got invited by Rep Chicolo and, and Trish and the folks in Lexington, along with the governor, to go be on the Lexington Green at 5.30 in the morning on Patriots Day. Who's, who's done that before? Okay, for anyone who hasn't done that, I recommend you do that. Because it's easy today in 2024, looking at all of our skyscrapers and our state house, to kind of take this for granted. When you go and stand on the Lexington Green at 5.30 in the morning and you see the reenactment, um, and you see this very ragtag small group of people without any weapons kind of standing together on this lawn, and then you see the British march in with their horses and their uniforms and their guns. And all. It is actually quite remarkable to think about how courageous those folks were and how improbable it was that they had the, 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 the vision and the courage and the will to go sacrifice so much to start this revolution, to lead this revolution, and to win this revolution that created this country. So that is the Team Massachusetts OG. That is the original Team Massachusetts. And we all, the world owes a lot to that, that team. So just like that team on Lexington Green, 
we are now here in 2024, and we, we've made a lot of progress. We've, we've had a lot of firsts. It's on the T-shirt. But we are still not the biggest state. We don't have the most people. And we are standing now, kind of all of us together as a team, on the, on the field. And the Paul Revere's of our time now are coming to tell us about what's coming. We have climate change. We have, um, we have two world wars. We have a lot of divisiveness, a lot of dysfunction. We have an accelerating pace of change in technology. This is now the time for us to again be Team Massachusetts and just like the OG team to work together to lead for the next 250 years. And I should just say, this is, um, this is, this is not easy. It wasn't easy for them, but this is what's fun. And this is what we do in Massachusetts. And we have the best mayor, well, I don't know where she went, but we have the best mayor, <laughs> and we have the best team leading these celebrations with Sarah Stanton and with, um, and with Kate Fox, our director of tourism, and Sheila leading the 250th, and we have all of you to take this moment and to celebrate, but also to think about the future. And you'll notice on the T-shirt, it's only half full. We could have filled multiple t-shirts with all of our firsts, but we, we chose the best ones. But the reason why it's half full is because we're gonna have more firsts. As we fight these battles and we lead these revolutions of this day and win these revolutions, we're gonna have the first to solve mental health, the first to fight and beat climate change, the first to make the world safer and better and more equitable for everybody involved. And an example of that is our friend Spot who goes into hazardous places that humans should not go and does all kinds of inspections that make the world safer and save people's lives by leading with technology. So that's what we do here on Team Massachusetts. And this is gonna be an opportunity for us to lead and also to create a ton of economic development for our state. So you're welcome, America. Come and visit us, come spend money with us, come help all of our creative economy, and let's go Team Massachusetts. Thank you so much, Secretary. Thanks, everybody. Um, we're, um, ha we're happy to take any questions on topic. And, uh, you know, we just wanted to share with you, this is the T-shirt, uh, which, uh, which lists out some of the many firsts in this great state of ours. And so we wanted to show that off as we kick things off here today. Thank you to everybody who's worked so hard to get to this point. And we look forward to celebrating um, all year long. And uh, we're going to have a lot of opportunity for input, for ideas, right? Fun stuff we can be doing. Um, because to be clear, like we live in a great country, but this is where it all began. And I think we, uh, we need to honor our history. We need to be inspired by that history. Our young people need to know their history. Because if you know your history, you know what's possible. You know what's possible. And it's going to be really, really exciting for our state as we get to show off our, our state over the next two years. So thanks, everybody. And with that, happy to take questions. Can you just close out the second bill that the Secretary mentioned? Can you talk about how this is going to be an economic driver for the state? Oh, yeah, it's going to be huge. And I'll tell you, the game is on. I mean, you know, we um, I talked to uh, the governors in Virginia and Pennsylvania. Um, I remind them that actually things began here. We are the birthplace baby, right, of this great country of ours. John Adams, you know, years ago, he wrote the Massachusetts Constitution, which became the model for the United States Constitution. So everybody's hustling. Everybody in their states knows what an economic boon it is uh, to, to their states. And so that's, you know, a piece of this, certainly. I mean, most importantly, we want to honor our, our history and we want to inspire future generations, but it's going to be uh, significant in terms of the economic benefit it's going to bring in to so many activities, so many events, uh, hospitality, um, restaurants, our hotels, um, all across the state. It's going to be it's going to be really, really significant. And part of the launch today is to make sure we get ahead of this because because we are the first we are the birthplace. What the activity started here Last year, last yeah, year. Yeah, yeah. Boston Tea Party kicked it off for the entire country. Yeah. yeah, so, you know, and how long have you been mustering in Salem? Uh, for a very long, long time. time. <laughs> yeah, yeah, because remember. Muster in Salem. Yeah, and that was in the 1600s. Remember, Massachusetts, we are home to the First National Guard. We're home to the United States Navy, right? We have deep, deep roots here. You got it. The, and the cool thing about this, too, is this isn't just, you know, state, city. 
effort and action coming. It is, and you'll see you'll see that. But the opportunity, and we've had cr tremendous outreach from companies, uh, from nonprofits, from philanthropic givers who know the the importance of this moment. And so it's going to be it's just going to be terrific. Anybody else? Okay. By the way, you know, yes, first chemotherapy, cancer treatment, first computer. That's right. Yep. Uh, first transatlantic message. Did you guys know that? Was that Marconi Beach? Yeah, right? Right. First telephone call. First typewriter, you in the press. First typewriter right here. Yeah, so much more. The first rocket. People don't understand that. Worcester, heart of the Commonwealth, invented the birth control pill and the rocket. Thank you, Worcester. Yes. <laughs> Works for everyone. Um, great. Thank you, everybody, for standing in and standing strong. Um, imagine, to Secretary House point, what people actually went through, you know? And, and just look at what they, you know, had to wear and withstand and all sorts of elements, all sorts of conditions. And it's that kind of uh, spirit of sacrifice, selflessness, commitment, uh, truly putting country or aspiring country above oneself that really represents all that we're going to celebrate this year, giving us hope, giving us inspiration, leading us forward as we protect freedom and we protect democracy. Thanks, Massachusetts. Looking forward to...